everyone. I feel like one of those strokers on The Price is Right. Do you remember that uh, game show with those busty blondes leaning provocatively against a dishwasher or sometimes a car, stroking it as if it was, well, I'm not going to say, this is a family show. Um, anyway, I've set out everything I've bought so far. Well, we've bought, I've bought them, but we're going halves, but I've actually sourced everything that I'm going to show you. Things that we need for our new caravan. Hello to all my new subscribers, by the way. I'm sure you're only here for the caravan stuff and there will be a lot more caravan stuff coming up, including the reveal of what we finally decided to buy. I'm not gonna tell you what that is yet, but you'll find out very soon. So in this video, I'm just gonna go through this selection of goods that I've purchased. Um, I'm gonna split it into categories as well, so it's easy for you to identify things that you may have forgotten if you're buying a new caravan. There will be things I've forgotten. If I've forgotten anything, please comment below. Some of this may seem unnecessary to a lot of you seasoned caravanners. Caravanners? Caravanners? <sighs> Sorry about this, it's early in the morning. <laughs> a lot of you seasoned caravanners will be thinking, oh, you don't need that, you don't need this, but we're novices, we're completely new to this, so we've probably bought things we don't need, but anyway, I'm gonna show you everything we've bought so far, including the kettle. Excuse the breasts, by the way, but the camera does add 10 pounds. So in real life, I am wafer thin and quite muscly, but just bear that in mind if you were to see me in the local Harvey Nichols. So I'm going to divide everything I've bought into various rooms. Now the caravan we've bought, it's a two berth and, and there are only two rooms, let's face it. There's the washroom at the back, there's the lounge slash bedroom and kitchen. So when I was choosing items to purchase for the inside the caravan, I divided it into rooms. So we've got living room, bedroom, kitchen, washroom, and then finally a miscellaneous section of other bits and pieces. And of course, a section for all the essential things you'll need if you decide you're going to enjoy the caravanning life and want to start buying for your caravan. It was basically like buying for a small flat all this stuff, as you'll see when I go through each item individually. Now, you don't have to do this, but when I was choosing all the internal furnishings and accessories for the caravan, I've tried to stick to a theme. So everything really ties in together. It doesn't all match, but it follows a similar sort of design. And the design I've gone for is a sort of a, a retro vibe with one accent color. The accent color I've gone for is ochre, is it? Or sort of a, a dull yellow. Now, this is something, <laughs> it's not a necessity. I have a dashund, and I saw this at my local Asda. It's obviously a faux succulent. No point in having real flowers in your caravan. Um, I just saw this and I thought that would look nice on a shelf somewhere in the caravan, maybe in the washroom, just just to add a few little homely touches. Now my partner has turned his, you know, rolled his eyes up at that and thought you don't need this. But I think when it's all in and together he'll think, oh yeah, that does make a difference. It's little things like that, but it's obviously personal taste. You can have what you want in your caravan, but a few little knickknacks, not loads. You don't want to clutter it up, but they just make it more homely. And this is something I've had a while. I didn't really know what it, what I bought it for. I just like this um, sort of retro design on it. This is just an enamel pot, but it will be useful for something either in the kitchen, probably, or just putting some knickknacks in, I don't know. But that's just decorative and practical. It's from a company called Mini Moderns, so I like their sort of stuff. I'm not endorsing any of this, so I don't get paid for any of this. This is just what I've bought. So regarding the sofas, you only get one small cushion on each sofa, and I like to be sort of comfortable. So I got these. Now these are supposed to be different colors. They do look different, actually. They look a bit more different now in the light. Um, one's pebble and I think one's natural I'm not sure which is which these were from Asda two for 12 pounds and they're nice big comfy cushions and they've got a, a cord finish and they're machine washable we've got some of these in our living room in a different color um, the covers come off pop them in the washing machine inside out and they come out really well that's useful if you have a little doze in the afternoon and you use this cushion as your pillow and you dribble a bit of drool. As you get older, you'll know what I mean. You'll wake up and you'll find you've drooled down yourself. It's a part of growing old, I'm afraid. But anyway, if you do tend to drool, they, they come up fine in the washing machine. So 
We've got two different colours for either side of the sofas and the small one that was in the caravan will go in the middle. So it just adds a little bit extra cosiness. This is what I'm really looking forward to most about being in the caravan is the feeling of being cosy and in our own little den. To cover the actual uh, sofas in the caravan because we've got dogs we wanted a removable cover that we can put in the washing machine this again goes pretty well this is from a different company I got these from very.co.uk and they sort of tie in quite well with both the cushions they're a neutral color so these are just to go on the uh, actual seat part we'll leave the patterned part of the uh, sofa on show because it's not it just tones it down um, and the cushions will cover up a lot of it. So basically that's all we've got for the living area. Let's move through to the bedroom. Now, of course, in the bedroom, the most important thing you're going to need is bedding, starting with duvets. Now, the caravan we've got obviously has two singles. You can use the sofas as two singles or you can combine them to make a large double. Now, I don't sleep with my partner. We don't share the same bed. We don't even share the same floor of our house. And that's the reason why we're still together. I can't sleep with anyone. Uh, well, sleep anyway. As far as the other goes, well, we don't do that anymore either. But anyway, um, <laughs> too much information. Anyway, I don't like to sleep with anyone apart from possibly a little furry dog called Daisy. But as far as sleeping with, with a, a big human that tends to snore, it's not nice, although I don't think I'll be able to cope with the snoring in the caravan. We'll have to get earplugs. So what I've done, we've bought two single sets of bedding. So even if we have it as a double bed, we've still got our own duvet because that's one bugbear of sharing a bed. I'm sure you, many of you know. One, one, one or other of you, normally your partner will tend to pinch the duvet and you end up right on the edge of the bed, freezing cold and your partner's all snuggly, you know, all mummified, all wrapped up nice and cosy. So having two separate quilts is a good way to go to avoid any arguments. I've also gone for what they call a, 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 either four seasons or an all seasons quilt. So in this packet here are two quilts. So in, in theory, you've got really three quilts um, in each bag because this comes with, uh, oh, hang on, 15 tog, right, hang on a minute. I thought I'd got the wrong thing. <laughs> it's a 15 tog, which is a very, thick, comfy, warm quilt. If you camp uh, in the winter time, if you go out of season and like to go caravanning in the winter, a 15 tog will be lovely. So that is when you've got both of these combined, they clip together, but you can separate them. And I think it's a four and a half tog. It doesn't actually say on here. That's silly, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's a 4.5 tog summer quilt and a 7.5, that would make correct, an autumn. So in the summer, use the lightweight 4.5. In the autumn, spring, you could use the 7.5. And of course, when it's very cold, clip them together to make a 15 tog. So I'd recommend this sort of duvet. And also, your partner might be hotter than you and you might want a heavier duvet, your partner might want a lighter one. So problem solved with that. So that's pretty cheap 20 pounds those were obviously we, we needed two of those bedding just it was cheap I'm not going for high thread count but it's going on this theme this is a theme I'm going for this sort of retro so this is just a single duvet cover with a single pillowcase I think we'll only take one pillow I haven't bought pillows by the way if you say you haven't got any pillows we are going to use our own pillows I've got some latex pillows I use at home. And I'm just going to take one of those because I always take a pillow with me if we rent a cottage. So I'm just going to do the same in the caravan. So we've got these, one of each in the single. Uh, we've gone for a single fitted sheet which should fit over the beds when they are as singles. But I've also got, I think it was a king fitted sheet um, as well in case we do have the uh, beds together as a double. So we've got both options there. So I think that's everything for the bedroom. Yes, basically bedding. Ah, oh, no, hang on, one more thing. Now, I don't know what it's going to be like. They seem fairly comfortable. I sleep on a memory foam mattress at home, which I love. I don't think a caravan bed is gonna be as comfortable. So instead, I was thinking of memory foam, but memory foam is quite heavy and it can get quite hot. So I've gone for these toppers. They're, they're single size, but again, you can just put them on the 
uh, to make a double, just put them both, you know, and just put the fitted sheet over. The reason I went for the single, because the single beds in the caravan aren't as wide, they're not three foot wide like a normal single bed, they're about two foot six. But because this is more like a thick duvet, you'll be able to tuck it in. And you can't really tuck a memory foam. If the memory foam is too wide, it's a bit awkward to try and tuck it. So that's where I think anyway. Plus these are, they're bulkier, but they're lighter. And hopefully these will live in the caravan in there underneath the sofas when we're not using them inside these reusable bags. These were, I can't remember, they were about 30 pounds each. They're five centimeters thick. So these should make it certainly more comfortable to sleep on. Making our way into the washroom, bypassing the kitchen, of course, towels. Now, some people have said get microfiber towels or you can dry a lot of your body apparently with a flannel and get the worst off with the flannel before you use a towel so the towel dries quicker. These are just standard domestic towels. I went for the towel size. I use sheets normally, a bath sheet at home, but in a caravan, I think the normal bath towel size is fine. Again, I'm following a theme using this color as a sort of accent color. So it's grays, a lot of grays with this sort of ochre color. So two of these, one each, we've got a hand towel and a bath towel each. And I've also got this easy dry, I have one of these at home, they dry pretty quick. This is just to put on the floor in the washroom when you step out of the shower just to catch any drips. And this will hang up and it dries quickly. Just a sort of a bobble bath mat and it goes again the correct colour. Now I did choose this when I was thinking we might have got a caravan with an oblong or square shower but the caravan we've gone for has a round shower. So I'm not sure whether I'll use this square rubber mat in the shower but that's what I bought it for just to add a bit of extra anti-slip properties. It won't go to waste if it's not suitable for the caravan. And a little indulgence, I didn't buy this, so I've got plenty in stock because I'm a compulsive, oh, I've just broken it. I'm a compulsive shopper. I've just got some hand wash just to put by the sink. And obviously you'll need all your normal toiletries and toilet roll, etc., and bits like that. So let's move on to some of the essentials and also safety equipment you might need for your caravan. Although we're buying a used caravan, I am expecting the dealer to have given it a thorough clean before we collect it, but it still won't be clean enough for me. So for my local dealer, I've bought a few caravan cleaning products, all of the same brand mainly. So it's a three-step system. Uh, we've got the shampoo. You can probably use car shampoo, but anyway, this is, is, is probably car shampoo, but it was sold for caravans too. So I've got um, a high shine shampoo to remove the dirt and then we've got a polish. I think that's the second stage and then finally a finishing wax. So I'll be uh, certainly giving the caravan a thorough clean when we pick it up. Well, after we pick it up and this stuff I've seen um, demonstrated on various caravan cleaning videos. It's called Silky. It's a cream cleaner, um, especially for caravans, boats and PVC. So if you don't use it on your caravan, you, your PVC windows it might be good for. This is for doing sort of around where the seals are and things, I believe, but uh, it's supposed to be uh, pretty good and it won't damage your caravan's finish. And finally, I bought this. I don't know how to use it, but it is supposed to purify all your stored water systems, tanks, containers and pipes in your caravan. I'm still going to flush this through. How, I'll have to find out how you use it, but before we use the caravan properly, I'm going to give that a bit of a clean with this uh, Puri Clean. Much smaller tub than I was expecting, but it should do the job. Moving on up to a few of the safety items I've bought for the caravan. Now this I already had, it was a spare one. It doesn't actually have a carbon monoxide detector. As far as I know, the caravan we're buying, it has a smoke detector, but not a carbon monoxide one. If your caravan doesn't have one, for around 10 to 15 pounds, it's worth getting. This one is freestanding. You can put it on a high shelf somewhere in the caravan, and that should alert you should there be any carbon monoxide leaks, which obviously would quite ruin a holiday if that was to happen. You might not recover from it. So cheap, but vital. Also, if you do have a smoke detector fitted to your caravan, it's quite old. It won't do you any harm to buy a new one. Again, £10 tops really for one of those. Two things I think are essential. Another little thing I bought just in case, a useful thing to have is a first aid kit with all your general bits and bobs in there. 
in case you cut yourself or something happens untoward. I bought a fire blanket that's going to live inside the caravan. You can fit it onto a surface but I'll probably just uh, have that in a cupboard in case there's a um, small fire. But also a fire extinguisher that can be used at a bit of a distance. I've decided we're going to keep the extinguisher in the car, keep the fire blanket in the caravan so if we have a fire in either we've got something to tackle because if there's a fire in the caravan and it's in front of where our extinguisher is well it's pretty useless so we've got two uh, and they're going to be one in the caravan one in the car i think that's possibly a, a good idea i don't know i just bought this because it was going cheap it was about 80 pence we haven't got an awning yet but i assume when we do buy an awning we will need a mallet of some description to to hammer in the sort of the rope thingy bit i don't know what they're called guy ropes is it anyway you know what i mean so because it was cheap, uh, I thought I'll get it now and it will always come in useful if my partner snores in the night. I can just a couple of taps on the temple and he'll be out like a light and I'll get a good night's sleep, hopefully. Uh, moving on up onto some security. We've bought a full stop caravan hitch lock here. That obviously is necessary to stop any naughty people hitching up your caravan and towing it away. But also we've got, obviously, we're having fitted the Alco wheel lock to, uh, to secure the caravan that way. Another item we're getting fitted before we collect it is a new secure door lock, an additional door lock to give us added security when we're inside the caravan and, of course, when we're out gallivanting somewhere with the dogs. Now, this is a Malenko stacker jacker which caused much amusement to my partner when I kept saying stacker jacker, I don't know why. These are for, as far as I can see, they're for going under your feet, your side steadies, I believe they're called, I don't know all the lingo. And, and they help compensate for uneven surfaces. And they're used in conjunction with the stacker, sorry about the reflection, the stacker corner feet they fit on that. So I've got a pack of those and these apparently though I, i'm going to need some chocks and um possibly a leveling ramp as well malenko do them both so we'll probably stick with malenko they seem to be a decent brand they get good reviews also from malenko something you might not have considered you need and perhaps some seasoned caravanners decide they don't need but because of course we're novices we need it this is a nose weight gauge so I believe the nose weight we're allowed for our particular car is 88 kilograms. So basically you put this under the doobie thing, that thing, you know, what's that called? That thing that you attach the uh, doodah to. Anyway, the hitch, is that the hitch? You can tell I'm new at this folks. Anyway, basically it tells you the weight of the, um, the caravan so you don't go over that uh, because it can cause trouble when you're towing apparently so that was about 35 pounds i think oh one final thing in this little section it's not really essential i haven't opened it yet but that is just a cover for the hitch just to keep it sort of dry and clean in storage you don't have it on i don't think when you you're towing the caravan but when you're storing the caravan it just keeps it covered up and helps keep it clean now all these items are actually on top of something that uh, is probably essential and that is your caravan step this is the one we've gone for by a company called royal and it's a two-step aluminium bodied with these sort of uh, a grippy surface so hopefully it won't be slippy when it's wet quite light but it is fairly bulky it doesn't fold so obviously we have to find somewhere to put that inside the caravan when we're towing otherwise it'll go in the boot but uh, it doesn't fold up it is quite bulky but really you do need a step to help you access your caravan easier now onto some of the items i've bought for the kitchen unless you plan on getting takeaways or eating out every night you will need something to eat off now a lot of dealers sell melamine sets and separate plates and cups and things but from what i've seen online a lot of people don't like them they get them initially and then they find they don't like eating off them so i've gone for just a regular but cheap set of uh, porcelain dinner set here and um, some extra bits as well let's move that that's a little essential 35 pence 
lightweight plastic measuring jug can't go wrong you'll find many uses for that I'm sure and of course a can opener a little bit more luxury in our caravan <laughs> I've got another molten brown hand wash that's just to go by the uh, sink in the kitchen area so a set of cutlery cheap all from Asda these so I didn't go mad got these cheap set now there's 16 pieces in here but we don't intend on taking all 16 pieces into the caravan we might take three of each item um, there's no point it's only two of us we're not going to take the whole set I don't think we tend to use these to eat um, our meals a lot instead of a plate pasta bowls these didn't come in the set so these were three pounds each I think so I've got two of these I'm going to buy another two as spare because these might get broken they're so cheap um, but I did only buy two initially and it's in this nice sort of design again which ties in with the uh, other designs I've bought for the caravan whoops very cheap set of nylon, nylon utensils we've got uh, fish slice spatula slotted spoon and there's a solid spoon under that that was under two pounds for those three you see I'm not going mad by buying top end stuff there's no point especially as it's our first caravan mugs set of four mugs to match the dinner set that's a 12 piece dinner set um, you get four of each four dinner four side and four bowls but we're only going to take two of each and that means we've got two spare so if any get broken when we're out and about on our travels we've got some spares at home and of course it keeps whoops it keeps the weight down we don't want to be carrying a whole dinner set when we don't need it oven gloves of course again matching <laughs> their necessity uh, if you're going to be using your oven and I've gone for these again they match I bought four of these but again we'll only take two to keep two 80 pence each you know they're glass but hopefully they won't break but we have got only because they were going I think 30 pence each they were selling them off I've got a couple of plastic wine glasses for your alcoholic beverages and also because again they were cheap getting rid of them as they were getting rid of their camping stuff so a couple of plastic tumblers just in case and something you def definitely need I think a pair of scissors not just in the kitchen it might come useful for other things in your caravan tea towels unfortunately I can't fit a dishwasher in the caravan so we we're having, having to wash up by hand but tea towels obviously to dry your washing up and to wipe down your surfaces I've got a knife well I've got a separate knife I find these very useful this is what they call a utility knife and it's got serrated edge um, ideal for all sorts of things but especially if you're cutting bread products um, such as bagels if you try and use a sharp chef's knife to cut a bagel you'll know how that turns out so having a serrated edge means you can cut into bread products without them sort of well it, just, it basically works so I've only got one so far I might get another one of those just so we've got a couple I bought a knife set which I had to uh, I got from Amazon which I had to find my out-of-date passport before they handed it over the reason I chose this also comes with a handy ceramic these are ceramic knives it comes with a handy potato peeler these were highly rated on Amazon now I was specifically looking for knives that have a cover so every knife in this set is protected and the blade itself is protected with this cover which I think is quite a good idea anyway but in a caravan um, it's even more useful just so it keeps the blade sharp it stops it from rubbing up against other things and getting blunt and it just protects you know if in a caravan you don't want to get just grab the wrong end of a knife having the covers on as long as you always put them back just just it's that extra bit of safety it came in this nice box which is pretty useless to me because I'm just going to throw that box away this will just go obviously in one of the drawers in the kitchen now I don't know about you but I do like a nice hot drink in the morning and a couple of slices of toast so I bought specific caravan or camping kettle and toaster these are a lower wattage so they take a little bit longer although this is still a thousand watt this particular kettle I've tried it out and it was pretty quick it'll take a liter it's the cutest little thing unfortunately both of these items are going back to the seller because they're both dented 
but I will be replacing them like for like because I do like them. It's a fully featured, well it's basically just a small version of your electric kettle, a cordless electric kettle. Cordless as in it's got the cordless base. Let me just wrap that cable around there. So you've got the base and then of course you've got the kettle and it's it's so so cute. I absolutely love it. These are quite expensive for uh, this sort of thing. I think um, the toaster was about 35 and this was at least 26. But it's a nice one. I've seen others. I like the design of this. It's made by Camper. You've got your little button to open the lid for filling. There's a little mesh filter screen. Uh, I can't show you it, but it's in there just before the spout. All stainless steel interior. You've got the water fill gauge either side and little on off that glows blue when it's on just sits on the base so you can have it left or right handed so it is slightly dented it's only a small dent but there you can see there I'm not paying that money for having a dented and unfortunately again I like this toaster I won't get it out but it matches it's the same cream they do it in different colors lots of colors about four colors this has a dent at the um, just at the front of the toaster. If it was at the back, I'd have kept it, but it's really noticeable, but it matches. Um, again, it's a lower wattage, it's 700 watts. Um, so it might take a little bit longer to, to toast, and this might take a little bit longer to boil, but you're on holiday, you're in your caravan, relax. You're not in a rush to get to work. So what if your toaster and kettle takes a couple of minutes longer? Relax and meditate while you're waiting for your kettle to boil. So there are two items, not essential, but they're, for me they are quite essential for our caravan anyway. Finally, for the kitchen, we have bought a stove top kettle that whistles. Now there may be occasions when for some reason, I don't know what reason, but if we're off grid and we can't connect to the electricity supply and we want a hot drink and we have gas in the bottles in the locker at the front, then you can still make some, uh, boil some hot water if you need it for anything for washing or for making a cup of tea or coffee. So I like this one, it's just basic, but I like this, it's a bit different because the handle folds down. So that will go in a cupboard under the sink or somewhere in the kitchen area. And as a backup, we probably won't use it most of the time. If we're on a fully serviced pitch, or at least a pitch with electric, um, we won't need it, but it's there and it's light. It's not gonna take up a lot of room, especially with that folding handle. For the oven, I use these at home. I like these because they're small and they fit in the dishwasher. You know, some of those big baking trays, even you know, for your regular full-size oven at home, sometimes they won't fit in the dishwasher and it can stop the, stop the spray arm from rotating. So I've been buying these for home. There's this one here with holes in. I got these from Amazon and there's a, a solid one there. And I bought four of these, two of each, because I think if we're going to be, we'll have to cook different meals because I'm a vegan. <laughs> And my partner's gluten intolerant. So you can imagine what sort of uh, trouble we have eating. But I think if we're cooking anything in the oven, it's best to do it at the same time to save on gas rather than doing it separate meals. So I'm hoping that we'll get two of these in per shelf. I'm not sure yet, but anyway, they weren't that expensive. They're quite good quality, quite, quite well made. Um, and they're small, so they're easy to wash up instead of a big baking tray that won't fit in your sink. These are nice compact and they will nest in together once the packaging's off. You know, they're, they're, I like them. So I've got four of those. I'm not showing you all four, There's some behind. Something I didn't think I needed until I saw it and because it was reduced from three pounds to one pound 50 is this timer. This again was some Asda. Now it's uh, gonna be useful for timing things when we're putting them in the oven because I don't think the oven has a built-in timer. I'm not sure if, if many caravan cookers do have a timer. So this, it's got a magnetic back so it can stick onto the side of the fridge or it's got a clip as well. So it'll go somewhere in the kitchen area and I think it'll be quite useful. But as I said, one pound 50, can't go wrong. Another little thing, 80 pence, I think this was. A grater, it's flat takes up less room it'll fit in the drawer somewhere with all the other utensils another thing a little bit indulgent because there are certainly cheaper caddies available but this is a joseph joseph one it's just a little sink tidy to put your washing up liquid and your washing up brush etc obviously you'll need those sort of things the cleaning stuff i might make a separate video on cleaning a caravan um so there's this it's just a slimline little caddy 
just for putting your knickknacks and for keeping any water from going on top of your counter. It's got a little spout there so it can hang over the sink if it fits. So any water that needs to drain from your sponge or your washing up brush, it'll just drain directly into the sink and won't mark your worktop. So I think I got that from uh, Amazon. Mm, I think it was probably about 12 to 15 pounds, that sort of price. We have been a little bit indulgent when it comes to the pans. We've gone for these fairly expensive Tefal Ingenio stainless steel pans. Now they're not specific for caravans or campers but they're very compact and they're ideal. If for any reason we decide caravanning isn't for us, these can be used in our kitchen. They just take up less room. This is a three piece pan set and basically they all nest together. So you have three sizes of pan and you get a detachable handle so you can actually use these in the oven as well and when you want to use them on the cooker top obviously they're good good quality good thick base they're suitable well I don't think you get induction hobs in a caravan but there you go you just clip that to that that's not going anywhere until you actually squeeze the buttons and release it like that we've also bought a strainer lid which should fit Yes, it fits, it'll fit to certainly the largest pan. Just goes over the top if you want to strain the water from your veggies or anything. And also, finally in this set, a couple of fry pans. Whoops, there goes the uh, baking trays. That's the smaller one, there's a larger one. Again, it comes with one handle, but again, that will go in the oven as well. So very, very well made, made in France these, very strong, the pans are non-stick, the uh, frying pans are non-stick, the other pans of course, they're the stainless ones. You don't have to spend that, I got these on offer, the pan set I think was 57 and the two frying pans were about 20 something. So a bit pricey but as I said these because they're not, <laughs> sorry about that folks, because they're not specifically for caravans and motorhomes they can be used in your home. They are a good quality pan. So if you're short on space in your kitchen at home, these are suitable as well. Another couple of items which I think will be quite useful are these gripper rolls. Now this was a pack of two I got from Amazon for about nine pounds and they come in various colors. I went for this one which is classed as caramel because it uh, matches better the wood in the caravan. So this can be used to line the drawers. It can be used to go at the bottom of your sink to, to prevent it from scratching. You can line your lockers with it. It just provides an anti-slip surface. And if, there's many different uses. You can use it as a placemat. You just cut them to fit whatever you want to use them in. And you can use them on your tray to stop things slipping off. So these can line your drawers, line your lockers, um, just keeps any spillages as well if you spill anything on a locker this will help keep the muck off you can just take them out and give them a wipe so nine pounds I think for two of these they're 190 by 30 centimeter rolls so I'll be cutting those to fit various nooks and crannies in the caravan when we get it next week Finally, a few things you will definitely need for your caravan. This is called a waste master. That's for taking your gray water away. That gray water is basically your washing up water, your shower water. This transports it to an area where you can actually empty it out. So that is definitely something you need. I got the pair, this is the for the waste and there's also the aqua roll for your clean water. I got the pair of these on offer for about 97 pounds for both, but you need them. So this you fill with clean water and obviously take it to your caravan and you can connect it up to your caravan. If you're on a fully serviced pitch and you've got running water, you can also get this mains adapter that fits into the aqua roll. So basically, as far as I know, and again I'm complete novices, but I think basically it keeps it topped up for you so you're not having to go and fill it all the time if you've got a fully serviced pitch but you'll need the mains adapter this is specifically for the aqua roll and also to keep everything clean we've got um, just a generic uh, aqua roll storage bag that keeps 
that in uh, when you're in storage it just keeps it clean and safe and also somewhere we've got one for the waste a bigger one for the waste so it just keeps it all covered up when it's uh, not being used this is um, a bag for the mains cable I'm not showing you the mains cable because we've got one put aside at the dealers but you'll need at least a 10 meter cable to hook your caravan up to the electric supply that's just a bag fairly cheap I think I got that from Amazon just to put it in while not in use and also if you're using your caravan at home um, if you've got it on your drive and you need to connect it up to a normal 13 amp socket you can buy this converter lead here pretty cheap less than 10 pounds and then you can actually plug that into your normal domestic 13 amp socket which is what we'll be doing when our caravan arrives because we're going to have to store it on our drive for a while because the storage place we wanted is full but there might be a place coming up uh, oh finally another bag this one is to hold the mains adapter hose so everything is nicely kept in the bag so it's clean and protected oh one final thing i think that's everything something that i'm not looking forward to doing but i'm not going to do it this is toilet chemicals now again i've gone for the brand of, of chemical that our toilet is we're doing the the proper thing i mean there's lots of tips people say you can use other things but for now because we're novices we're using the recommended stuff so there's a blue chemical and a pink rinse the blue chemical I believe goes in the waste tank that you remove it from the side outside of your caravan that contains of course all your feces and wee wee and then the pink goes in the flush so I believe the blue is supposed to break down the solids so when you actually go I'm not doing it my partner will be doing that but he's used to gross things um, back in his early days he was uh, wor working on a hospital ward so he knows all about bed pans and, and wiping ladies tuppences and the like I'm not getting involved so um, I don't mind filling it but I'm not emptying it but I'm sure you know it won't be as bad as some people make out I'm sure just put a peg on your nose also one tip which I just thought of is to get some disposable if you're really squeamish get a pack of those disposable gloves you can put on they're useful anyway if you've got anything mucky to do in a caravan oily or dirty or something you don't want to touch a box of those in one of your overhead lockers uh, won't go amiss um, especially if you're emptying this or doing anything that's a little bit icky just slip those on and uh, it makes it a little bit more pleasant well I think that's everything I've finished at the toilet um, that's everything so far as I said there are a few bits we need to buy at the dealer next week but I think we've remembered mostly everything if we've forgotten something please comment below and we'll look into it but as I said there's a I think I've mentioned all the things we're going to buy if you've enjoyed this video please thumb me up please subscribe because although my this is my only my second caravan video I do plan on giving you lots more caravan content if you just like the caravan stuff but please feel free to check out my other videos if you want to see what other things I get up to next week we will be collecting the caravan if I can I will try and film the handover because apparently the dealer will go through everything and show us how it works so if the de dealer doesn't mind I'll video as much of that as I can and and show you the edited highlights and then of course I'm so excited but I'll be showing you a tour of the caravan once we get it home and it's on our drive and then I'll be doing various little bits and pieces around the caravan getting all this stuff installed for you to, to show you where it all goes cleaning the caravan and I will be sleeping in that caravan several nights when I'm not at work the next day I'm going to try it out while it's on the drive close to home and work out any problems before we actually hitch it up to the car and go on our first trip so I think that's a good idea if you're getting a caravan if you can try it out at home before you take it out on the road it's probably best because it's it's worth finding out what's wrong while you can do something about it you're near the shops and near the dealer so sorry this went on for far too long i wasn't expecting to natter on quite so much but there was quite a lot to show you i hope this has given you a bit of an insight if you're thinking about buying a caravan it's not just the caravan you've got to consider all this lot that i've shown you 
has cost about £900 and there's still a few more things so if we get we get an awning on top of that which we plan to buy at some stage you may be thinking £2,000 for all the bits you need plus don't forget you'll need to find storage if you can't store it at home that could be two to £400 a year you will need insurance what else will you need something else can't think but anyway it's an expensive business it's not cheap to go caravanning but we didn't think it would be we've chosen to join this caravanning community mainly because of the perceived freedom it will give us we've got two dogs I like my own home comforts I like sitting on my own toilet I like sleeping in my own bed and that's one way you can do that with a caravan you own your bed you own your toilet you own your sink so we're taking everything with us including the kitchen sink so I'm really looking forward to it. I get all sort of excited. I'm hoping that uh, if you follow me throughout the months on this channel, that my initial enthusiasm, my wide-eyed excitement, if that's a word, is not replaced by disillusion and disappointment and tantrums. Let's hope not, but who knows? Please follow me and see what goes on in the life of me, my partner, who you will probably never see because he doesn't like the camera. But you will see my lovely dogs and you'll see plenty of my ugly mug and plenty of caravanning fun and games hopefully well thanks for watching if you're still here stuck with me to the very bitter end please subscribe please thumb up and look forward to more caravanning videos plus anything else i decide to show you in my sad pathetic middle-aged life bye for now